Hello and welcome, this is Alex, today with a little tutorial about how to change droop and minimap color in Stronghold Crusader. So first of all you will need a hex editor or else it is not gonna work. I'm using XVI and um, I can put a link uh, to the download in the um, description below. And um, it's a quite good hex editor I think. So um, once you've downloaded one, um, go to your Stronghold Crusader folder which is located um, on, on the Firefly Studios and uh, well wherever you've installed it in for me it's this um, this direction so uh, once you're in the maps folder oh wait actually you should back up your maps folder first which I've done so um, once you've done that uh, go to your maps folder and select a map you will have to change the color for every single map in the game or else it's not um, gonna work oh well or else it's only working on um, on a specific map so um, if you only want to change it for one map that's fine um, then that's what I'm gonna show you I'm not gonna change it for every single map so now let's just pick a new land here um, right click it and open with and now you will have to find your hex editor and um, click on search so you want to find your hex editor's exe file um, and for that um, in my case it's under downloads and um, here it is so double click that and um, it will uh, have oh, is it, it is selected then and um, you can decide on whether um, each single dot map file extension will be opened with the hex editor from now on or not I've done so um, that's why the check mark is in there and now let's proceed by clicking OK and then you will see this um, mess of letters and numbers um, and what we want to do now, um, assuming you're using XVI, as I said, um, you can find or you should find this uh, text string or this hex string, more to say, um, and click on OK. It will redirect you to um, this uh, piece of code or this piece of hex. And um, so what this is here this is the place where the color red to teal is located I will divide this tutorial in two steps the first thing will be the um, easy or well not the easy but the uh, bug free version which is um, gonna be changing colors from from red to blue because that is the only um, color that you can change without any side effects so one is um, actually the color for blue and um, these are all the other colors I will put a um, slide info box um, here on the screen somewhere so you can see which color is um, associated to which um, number so for now um, we want to change red and blue this is blue and this is red so the fourth um, number is red and um, if you change that now uh, hold on, to 01 our droops will have blue color however as you notice now um, the uh, there are two players with um, blue color so um, we'll have to make the blue player red by um, changing this bit to o to o uh, two o two, <laughs> sorry. Um, and now by saving that and starting up our game, our map or our droop color should have changed. Greetings, sire. The well, let's find the map. It was a new land right here let's actually pick four opponents here oh so we can see what um blue turns into if it turns into red 
So let's just start the game on maximum speed. Um, as you can see, we are blue on the main screen. Yeah, okay. We're blue on the main screen and um, blue on the minimap as well. Now, if we look down to the blue sultan or the supposedly blue sultan, he is red and his minimap color is also red. So, um, that worked and um, this was the tutorial um, to about how to change your droop color to blue. I will um, now tell you how to change your droop color to any other color which is a little bit um, or which has a side effect that is um, kinda annoying but I will teach you that now before the Sultan is gonna kill me so see you in a bit alright to change your color to anything else but blue um, you will need to first of all find a map that you want to change it on which I'm gonna do now I will go with the river so um, let's find our hex string again which I will also put down in the description below by the way and um, there we are and now let's um, this is our color number let's say we want to go for teal so teal is 07 so let's replace 02 with 07 and um, now you might think by replacing 07 with 02 it's gonna change our color as well or it's gonna work properly as well that however I've noticed is unfortunately not the case <coughs> sorry so um, I will show you quickly what um, what happened here so here is the river let's go for a full match and um, our display color here is teal but our minimap color as you can see is still red so now let's take a look around the map so we have the blue player who is apparently on the minimap teal as well we have um, and the red player is blue on the minimap so it's still kinda messed up and um, not really what it is supposed to be so <sighs> and I've not quite figured out why that is so so let's get back to our hex string and um, so if you are fine completely fine with only changing your display color um, then all you will have to do is um, well actually it is not true as well so just forget what I just said um, I'll have to reopen the map, I just did something wrong. So here we are. And um, so actually if you're fine with only changing your um, display color, um, you can simply only change 02 to 07, which will then result in um, two teal players, but um, that is the side effect of that. So however, if you really want to um, change your color to uh, to teal um, and as I said this has a side effect you will have to change 01 to 07 as well so, and here's why 07 apparently so the first number here um, is actually your minimap color um, unless you want to change from red to blue for some reason so if you just simply um, change your color to blue and replace that one with red everything is fine but if you do it for any other color it does not work so here's um, how to change it uh, how to change your droop and minimap color to teal um, so you change 02 to 07 and you change the first number to 07 as well so you change 01 to 07 and 02 to 07 I hope that is not too confusing now um, <laughs> it probably is so um, just make sure to ask any questions in the comment section below and I'll answer them happily 
so we'll have to save this and then we're gonna start the game and I will now also show you the side effect this brings with it so um, first of all let's go to our map the river and um, let's start the game as you can see we're now teal on the minimap down here that is the good part of this and um, the bad side of this however is that there's another teal um, the regular teal player will also stay teal and th there's yet another teal player and um, this is kind of the side effect we have three teal players and um, that is the reason why I decide to stick with blue because um, it would be too confusing to have like three players of the same color and unfortunately I've not really found a way to fix this bug because um, there is some some really uh, confusing stuff in that I've tried a few uh, setups of the numbers but I've not really um, come to a good conclusion so um, let's change well this color always has to stay 07 uh, if we change say the last teal player to um, red this is not gonna work either and I will show you why uh, and I will show you in game how this looks like now Greetings, sire. The desert your awaits you. oh. so let's go to the river and put ourselves up there and we're still teal as you can see there's another teal and um, the supposedly teal player is now red on the display side and um, blue on the um, minimap so this is not really um, what I'm satisfied with kind of so um, yeah, I've kinda uh, just uh, I'm just happy with blue. And now that was kind of confusing, so I will show you on another map finally how you can easily change your color to anything else but blue with the um, so-called side effect. However, so unfortunately, it's not sp not possible with a um, without a side effect. So let's just go with the belly and search our string again and there we go here we are so the first color is blue and um, this is our color the fourth play uh, the fourth color is ours so by changing that let's say we want green well, we change that here to green and to also get our minimap to um, display green we'll have to change this number as well so we'll go with 08 and 08 and um, save that start up the game Greetings, sire. and um, where's the salt oh. and I keep forgetting where he is Let's go to the valley, which is here, and um, start the game. As you can see, we're green. I'm also green on the minimap. And um, the side effect of this is that we have three green players. Unfortunately, there's no way I found um, to avoid this. So here we are, this is the first green player, this is the second green player, and we are the third green player. So, well this is the kind of side effect that you would have to deal with by um, changing a color to anything else but blue. And, well that's it basically, and, well <laughs> I hope I could help you with um, 
I could give you some insight more um, to say, and I hope I didn't confuse you too much. And um, you can, as I said, you will have to do this to every single map individually. Uh, so um, this I now change it for the valley, for a new land, and for the river. So um, if you, uh, I can also actually put a download to. Um, the blue maps so I've changed my maps uh, to or my drip color to blue on every single map and I can put up a download for that so you don't have to do that because it took me like half an hour so um, maybe that's an idea and if you have any questions because this was probably very complicated um, feel free to ask and I will give my best to give you a clear answer to that and with that being said, thanks for watching and make sure to tune in the next time as well. Thank you.